This video looks at a basic linear programming problem using Solver. For this problem, we are looking at the Flare Furniture Company, which produces tables and chairs. Each table requires four hours of carpentry and two hours of painting. Each chair requires three hours of carpentry and one hour of painting. We have in our production period 240 hours of carpentry and 100 hours of painting time available. Tables are going to yield a profit of $70 and chairs $50. We want to find the combination of tables and chairs that maximizes profit. For the setup, all LP problems are going to have three components. Variables that you have to make a decision about, an objective that you're trying to meet, and constraints. In our particular problem, we have to decide how many tables and how many chairs to produce. So we will make a column for tables and a column for chairs. And if we want to, we can um, indicate here that our decision variable is units to produce. Our answers regarding how many to produce are going to end up in these boxes which I will shade green. And for now, I'm just going to type in some guesses. We'll say that it's 10 tables and 20 chairs. Solver is going to end up figuring out these numbers for us. Our objective in this problem is to maximize profit, so we can type that here if we want. And to keep things organized, we'll put the profit per table in the table column and that is seventy dollars and we'll put the profit per chair in the chair column and that is fifty dollars we want to maximize total profit which we will calculate here so we need to insert our formula the total profit will be the number of tables we produce times their profit per table then we have to add the number of chairs that we produce times the profit per chair. For now that's 1700 but remember again that's just based on our guesses that are here. Next we have some constraints on the number of hours that we have available. We have a carpentry constraint which we'll put here and we have a painting constraint which we will put here. Again to keep things organized we will put the table information and the table column and the chair information in the chair column. Tables require four hours of carpentry and two hours of painting, where chairs require three hours and one hour. So to figure out the total amount of carpentry that we will need, that's going to be the number of tables we're producing times four, plus the number of chairs we're producing times 3. For now that's 100 hours. Total amount of painting, number of tables, times the two hours it takes for a table, plus number of chairs, times amount of time it takes for a chair. For now that is 40. We then fill in our actual constraints um, which for carpentry is that we have 240 hours so we are going to uh, put a less than sign here and then 240. This indicates that the number of hours that we need for carpentry has to be less than 240. In the same way, the number of hours that we need for painting has to be less than 100, as it says in the problem. This problem is now ready for solver. So we will go to the data tab and solver. The solver window will then pop up. It is telling us set objective. Our objective is to maximize profit which is in cell D4 so while we uh, have clicked in this box we can just click on D4 and it will fill in for us. We have to tell it to either maximize or minimize. We do want to maximize profit so we keep that button pressed by changing variable cells refers to our decision variables which is the number of tables and chairs to produce so after clicking in this area here 
we can drag across our decision variables and it will fill those in for us here. It then says subject to the constraints. We have two constraints so we're going to click add and because of the way we've organized this it's pretty easy to see what we need to do here. We need this amount here, the, the uh, hours of carpentry that we need to be less than, there's some choices here, less than 240 which is the number we have. We need to add one more constraint that the amount of painting we need has to be less than the 100 hours that we have. That's our only two constraints so we can click OK. And we do need to make sure that this box is checked, make unconstrained variables non-negative. That just keeps Solver from telling us that we need to produce negative 30 tables, for example. And we do need to change the solving method to simplex LP. We can then click Solve. You'll get a window um, that says keep the solution which we want to hit OK. And if you notice, Solver has changed these cells so that profit is maximized. This is the best we can do to produce 30 tables and 40 chairs that will maximize profit, which will end up being $4,100.